Submitting a book for review by a publisher is much more open-ended and unpredictable than publishing in a journal. There are three types of book proposals. The first is a simple prospectus describing what you will write and a market analysis describing who will care. The second is a complete manuscript ready to be sent out for review. The third is a hybrid with a longer prospectus, annotated chapter outline, and at least a few completed draft chapters. Junior people and those who haven't already published several books will need at least the hybrid version to persuade an editor to take a look. A warning though, don't submit your dissertation as if it were a complete manuscript. It needs to be edited first, even if you need to pay an editor to do that. If you do have a complete manuscript, you still need the short, persuasive prospectus, something that sells your work by matching it to a market while also making the intellectual case for that work. But I think my book is really cool, is not a sales strategy. Stop and think about what your work is really about and who you want to read it. Professionals in your field? The general public? Students in classes? If the editor does like the manuscript enough to send it out for review, she'll choose two or three anonymous reviewers and ask them for reports. These reports take a long time, and some reviewers go silent and never deliver at all. That's not the editor's fault, so don't pester her. After three months, you can make a cheerful inquiry via email, just to be sure the process is still moving. If the reviews come back, and they're positive, or mostly positive, the editor will write you a letter outlining what you need to do. At this point, you may receive a contract which is less hopeful than it sounds. The contract gives you a deadline to complete the manuscript, but the publisher has no obligation to publish it unless you actually carry out the required changes successfully. The contract also stipulates the terms under which the book will be published, if you deliver. Some young authors want to know how they should negotiate the contract. The answer is usually sign the thing and send it back. You have zero bargaining power as a first-time author. Still, there are three things to bring up. Paperback, price, and e-version. Most books are published first in hardback so that the publisher can make the library sales and general sales in hardback without competing with itself with the cheaper paperback. You might ask that the date for the paperback version be stipulated in the contract, perhaps a year after the hardback. And you can at least ask about what price is being considered and whether the book will also be offered in some electronic form. The contract will have a deadline. You'll be better off if you meet it. Make sure you keep track of the formatting of notes and references as you go, so you don't have to redo everything at the end. The stages of actual publishing work like this. First, your draft manuscript. Second, copy editing. Third, indexing. Fourth, proofs and final correction, fifth, production. When you send in the draft manuscript, a copy editor will go through it and suggest changes and corrections. If you're concerned about this, you can also pay an editor or get colleagues to go through the manuscript looking for larger changes and suggesting corrections about readability and style. The index is very important, even though it seems boring. Modern electronic indexing tools make this relatively easy to do, and you should do it yourself. No one else knows enough about the subject to decide what headings and subheadings are important enough to be indexed. Some publishers may want you to deliver the proofs in LaTeX, an electronic typesetting program, or the publisher may compile the typeset proofs from your file, probably in Microsoft Word. Either way, make sure you follow the directions carefully to avoid delays. Once the book is in production, it seems to take forever to come out. You can use the delay to work on a website and ancillary materials and collaborate with the publisher on advertising and contacting professional societies to make sure that your book gets noticed. Once your book is published and you hold it in your hand for the first time, it's a wonderful feeling. No one else knows how much of your time and tears went into producing this beautiful printed book, but you know. And now you're immortal. Savor that.